What? Say that again? You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. <clears throat> I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Honestly, the Shadow Siren fight, I think, was a lot harder than Grotus was, but I think... Yeah, that's just because we got charge. Hmm, disturbing. This Mar this Daisy character... What kind of... Speak up, XDOT! What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, the one we got Rogue Port. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Daisy won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. I love how they form the little X. As I suspect, as I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must, or Daisy has the map. She must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Daisy does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Ice Storm does four. Okay, so yeah, that probably would have been better. Although Ice Storm does freeze, so yeah. Could argue if it's better or not than Thunder uh, Rage. Daisy, I loathe you. Oh, Daisy. Did you even read the mail I sent to you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? <laughs> nah, girl, too busy saving the kingdom. Oh, is this TC's doing again? I always call them tech. Yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Oh. It's just one of those things that you, like, you play the game as a kid and, like, you don't really think of any other way to, like, do certain things or say certain, uh, people's names. Yeah, I think I'll start doing that, too. That's probably the- that sounds like it's the right way to say it, too. Hello. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario. Did it reach him all right? <laughs> yes, you can confirm... Or Daisy, sorry. Yes, you can confirm that Daisy received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? I hope not. You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Oh no. I remember now. Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce the impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Want it, wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. 
Princess Peach, please dance with me. If it makes you feel better, I played... What's FFMQ stand for? As a child and couldn't, for the life of me, pronounce Tristam, so I called him... Trachu. Oh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest? Is that what I'm... Did I get that right? I haven't played Mystic Quest, if that's what it is. Oh, okay. I'm like, I do not know that acronym. <laughs> wait. Wait! Wait just a minute! What am I supposed to do? You say, you say you want to dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, all right, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the button says they just play on the screen. This is super weird. Let's see if we got the moves. Oh, we got moves. Nice. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Yeah, I'm not, not the craziest about that peach cutscene. All right, on the Bowsers. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the tower and up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Wahehe, <laughs> my lord, you're so super. I love this, this is fantastic. I don't even know why he's attacking his own minions. Okay, this makes more sense. It's, I like it's just me. I, was li I like how he's always like one step behind Mario too. Oh hey, welcome to Puddleburg again. Eek! Hide everybody, hide! Hmm. 
Hmm, what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. Yeah, the Bowser signatures are pretty great. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, how awesome. I suppose I can live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! <laughs> P poster? Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge, mighty king of guys who talk to posters! Fantastic. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. I mean, Daisy. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get now that we get right down to it, I'm kinda sad to see you go. The sun doesn't really work either. I do love pontif pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat for a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Daisy. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not, but until then, ta-ta! See you, Miss Daisy! Aw, I love her goodbye and hi. We're almost to the next level. So next is Glitzville already. Oh, mercy me! Sounds like some mail! Dear Daisy, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. Yeah, I... I get that. <laughs> the fiends who kidnapped me are, are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Isn't that precious, Daisy? Aw, oh, Peach and Daisy just hanging out. These guys weren't gonna give us anything anymore. Try to dodge. Yeah, nice. I think going through Pit wouldn't be a bad idea, because it would get us through Glitzville a lot faster. I don't think we're gonna get through all of Pit, but I think if we can get through like level 20, at least, we get Fire Drive. 
Sap tap, I'm not. I don't really need. Um, I don't remember. Pit, I don't remember what pity flower does. So I'm thinking we we attack try or pit of hunter trials with. We go to floor 20, then we start heading to uh, 50 is our next goal. And then if we want to do the full pit, we can after that. Well, floor, yeah, and then floor 50 would be double items, which is going to be probably necessary for this run, actually. Happy Heart P. That's probably another thing I'm going to sell for money. Sell for money, like... <laughs> As if, like, I could sell it for something else. I guess we are in Rogueport, maybe I could. Is this... No, that's the other hammer. Okay, the other golf club. Yeah, Strange Sack. Yeah, exactly. I think 20 would be good for now. Actually, isn't there- there should be a star piece. I'm still torn on, like, if I should get one of the power pluses, or if I should get, like, a flower saver. I'm leaning towards power plus. And even then, I'm not sure if I should get, uh, power plus P. Or if I should just get normal power plus. What other models besides Daisy did you come across? So I know for sure they have a Princess Peach model and they have a Luigi model. Those are the only models I know of for Thousand Year Door. The reason why we picked Daisy is because Luigi and Peach are already in the game. So I thought Daisy would be perfect, story-wise. Story oh yeah, definitely. By the way, uh, links to all the mods are in the YouTube description, as well as the, uh, all the credits for the people that did the mods, so be sure to check it out. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, mercy me! The next crystal star has made an entrance! My, my, my! Not as easy as it sounds to do. Yep, and they have, um, they have, like, YouTube, they had YouTube tutorials, too. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it, isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Oh, that's right, it warps you out. That's alright. That works. We actually want to go back to Rogueport first anyway. That means that beneath this town, a thousand year door old ruin remains intact. Well, maybe we'll upgrade Goombella because we have the shine spreads for it. At least we get more HP to help survive in the pit. Because they might need her tattle ability. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal the treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... Hmm? That's not what? I don't know! I recently saw the fan-made Paper Mario 64 remake, it was really good. Yes, that is something that we're going to play at some point. The... I think it's called, um... Thousand Your Door 64. If that's the same, I think that's what you're referring to. And they have, they have difficulty mods in that too, so we are definitely playing it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it or do a recording, but we will... We will play that at some point, either way. Hopefully soon. Frankly, please! There's so much stuff I want to play at the same time. I'm sorry, so sorry! I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. 
Darkness stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make a... Well, you know the saying. <laughs> oh yes, how inappropriate. Because this is such an appropriate game. We wouldn't want to make it inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of the crystal star that's floating on the map? Yeah, saying the A word is where they draw the line. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are so are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell you can literally float! What are you talking about? <clears throat> Sorry. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little on the sea side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is, all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. It's overwhelming. Yeah, I mean, it, it's exciting too. There's just, there's so much I want to play and stream and record. There, there's so many, like, great mods out there. Um, ROM hacks, randomizers, it's, it's just, there's just so much. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Once you get a blimp ticket from Don Pianta on the west side, you can go to Glitzville. Alright. Alright, we do- we can upgrade Gumbella, so let's go ahead and do that. I guess we could save it for Yoshi, but... Yeah, we'll use on Gumbella. She'll eventually be using Rally Wink. That'll be really, really good. Oh. Then you may go. Alright, so multibonk unfortunately is only going to be good with charge P, but I mean, who knows, we might be able to make use of this once we get charge P badge. And her, I mean her HP doubled too, so that's, that's huge. So let's get this out of the way. Yeah, now she can actually damage enemies, exactly. And I really like Goombella as a character, so let's show her some love. Alright. You want something, chump? This is the Fortress of Ro the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lion, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up... Poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? <laughs> She's like, yeah. And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb. Yeah? Fine, Mr. Incentive, 
insensitive jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price, not a single coin. Insight info is pricey, them's the breaks. Man, that's rough, okay. Wait, you'll pay, really? Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businesswoman, 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor. Buy a dried shroom and dizzy dial. Oh, I probably didn't even need to pay the coins if I knew that. Dried shroom dizzy dial. And then make sure you buy them in that order. You do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask what your favorite color is. I'm gonna write this down. You answer yellow. You got that? Not green, not blue, yellow. You hear me? See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yes. Okay, he's just gonna repeat it. And then here, right? Nope, okay. Yeah, I paid him. I shouldn't have. But I- I forgot. It's been so long since I played, I actually forgot... ...how to do all that. Yeah, we could, yeah. That's fine, we'll just sell a badge. We'll do it the legit way. Alright. I was gonna sell that uh, heart badge anyway, the um, Happy Heart P badge. Call P. When you realize in danger, cause foes to sometimes miss. Should I pick that up? I mean, that applies to all partners. That's kind of nuts. Power job. Stomp on a single enemy using lots of attack power. That could be good too. Big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely House of Badges. We are selling. I'll sell the Happy Heart P for sure. I'm trying to think what would be good for Pit right now. Power, power Jump might be good. Post Call P might be good. I hate selling damage dodges, but I... I, I can't see us using them because they cost two and like we take so much damage already. I think I'm not I don't I can't see myself using the regular damage charge. If I use damage charge, it's probably gonna be damage charge P. Because partners take two times damage, not times and Daisy takes times four. If I'm doing anything with Daisy, it is shell shield or super guarding. Yeah. I know it seems nuts, but we're doing it. Cause I'd like to get two of these badges here. Uh, the close the close call P could be really good for Pit. And it's only one BP and that activates for all partners. 
And then the power jump would be really good with um, with the way defense works against aerial enemies so that Daisy can have a little bit more attack power. Just the fact that it goes in a single stomp. 1 DP. Feels so wrong selling a damage dodge, but... Close call, close call P. I want to keep the Mega Rush P on if I can. Uh, super Appeal. I would like to keep that on. I don't think I'm going to need Charge for Pit. Not yet. I'd rather have Power Jump. <sighs> I'm torn on Shrink Stomp. I really want... I actually want Quake Hammer. We'll ditch Super Appeal P for now, or Super Appeal for now. I want Piercing Blow and Quake Hammer. And Quake Hammer. But we can always play around with it while we're in the pit too. We could also just level up FP and then take this badge off. Only 15 F FP right now. Okay. Okay, what do you got? Ooh. How much should Earthquake do again? Yeah, we could level BP. The only problem with that is when we equip a HP or FP badge, it doesn't automatically fill in uh, the five that we're missing, so we can't like go back and forth from that very easily. Yeah, I guess I would- I guess level- yeah, leveling BP would deal the same thing. Yeah, that would make more sense. And that would give us options for later. Yeah, Cloud's right. Level BP. Um... We could get double pain again. <laughs> Times eight! I'm looking at that earthquake. But, at the same time, I think we already have three Ice Swarms and a Fire Flower. I think we buy a Honey- I think we start cooking is what we do here. And that way we won't spend too much money, but we'll get some pretty good healing items. Or at least good for now. Oh wait, we can go to a, the Better Shop. And we have to do that anyway. Do you have enough pain? <laughs> Yeah, times eight's just gonna be like, okay, super guard or die. Which we're already kind of at that point. It's just gonna be more of that. Is there anything up here? Oh right, you need the rolling ability to get through there. Nothing yet. I love all the toads. The different toad designs. Just the rich Koopa. We can go through the grates. Okay, well, this is life shrooms, but we can't afford it. Well, let's do this first. Dried shroom. And Dizzy Dial. Actually, Dizzy Dial wouldn't be bad for Pit anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What color is your mustache? Yellow. Whoops, what's wrong with you? That wasn't the right question at all. Let's try this again. Ahem. Okay, mister, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Yellow. 
Uh huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Okay, so we have super shrooms. Obviously, that's gonna be better than regular mushrooms. Let's store a couple things. Store the mushroom for the time being. Store the dried shroom, because I think I might be able to cook that. Um... Fireflower will be fine for pit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm thinking healing items. So probably... Actually, probably a life shroom. But then we'd be out of money. How's the insane going? Uh, we're not going insane, so it's going well. We just beat chapter two, and we are actually going to attempt 20 floors of pit before Glitzville. But we're also kind of setting it up at the same time. I I think we go life shroom. It's it's a nice safety net to have, and we don't have a life shroom yet. The only unfortunate thing is that it's going to revive a partner if a partner goes down. So we're going to have to be careful using it. Because Sweet Treat's gonna be enough to heal us. We'll go back. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you gotta be, spit it out or quicker, this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want to you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? Nah, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You, uh... You want I should run this bum out like a real boss? A bum on a real boss? Look at... look at her. What a rube. You must like pain, funny gal. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. She just came to talk, no? That ain't no crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough, rough her up, you got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. Ah, crystal stars? Hey, boss! Ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Ben, you're such a dope. Hey, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing? That treasure is real! Everybody, just, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. To get me? But tell ya, I can't but... Like a gal who wants to rescue some scourge she fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair? Sounds fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanish, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to be still. They ought to still be nearby. This guy's title is so hard to read. <laughs> you gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you aren't able to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with, and with. What is known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this gal. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, but he's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lug can't find her. 
Dad, I gotta swallow my pride and ask this gal. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. You won't. Ha it won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So what's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Alright, so that's setting us up for chapter 3. Yeah, I'm thinking we we definitely sell or buy one life shroom just to get us, ourselves a safety net. We're broke, but <laughs> I think it'll be worth it. So we'll just try to cook what we can. I think you can cook the dried shroom. Oh, we'll, we'll find out. You can try the lottery. Oh, it costs money. <laughs> Never mind. We cannot try the lottery. I should go down the grate in a sec, but I want to cook these items first. Do I have a honey syrup? Actually, I think I can only cook one item at a time either way. Alright, let's see if this gets us anything, or if it just becomes a mistake. Either way, it should be an upgrade. <clears throat> oh, it didn't turn out right? Yeah, it's actually an upgrade. Because <laughs> now, instead of 1 HP, it deals 1 HP and 1 FP. <laughs> I'll take it. I forget what cooking the fire flower does, but I think we'll just keep the regular fire flower for pit. We're just going to level 20, so hopefully we'll be alright. We have Gale Forest too, which is really broken. So Shroom Fry. Let's be honest, our pit strategy is probably just going to be Gale Force everything. Alright. First I want to go down the grate, because I actually forget what's there. Another good thing about pit is we'll get some money back, but man, that 50 for a life stream was not cheap. Okay, so I can't get over there. Star piece. Oh, I forgot about this part of town. Or, not really part of town. Oh, nice. So that lowers defense. Again, I'm not... I'm thinking that's not going to work on bosses, but... Could prove useful, honestly. We'll see. Definitely hanging on to it. Ah, I know about stylish moves! I don't think there's anything else for us here, but let me just... Oh, I forgot there was an item shop here! The gradual items are actually not too bad for us. Gradual syrup wouldn't be bad at all for Pit. Too bad we're broke. Then here. Okay. I think we're good. And 
Cheers. Save point will hit right away. I think we just want to go down the pipe. Yeah. Oh, I almost jumped on him. Mistake. What's over here? Oh, right. Can't get that yet. Um, do I go down here? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's where we're going. Another save? Okay, I can paper plane back here. So let's make this our save point. All right, we just wanna, we wanna just try to get to floor 20 for now. That'll make let's feel a lot easier too. We'll probably get a power plus after this too. Because after Pit, we should have enough BP to start equipping more stuff. Alright, let's go for it. Maybe the first enemies they do. Maybe they do use Flurry. Alright, thank you for the good luck. Sometimes it does not like when I jump on enemies. Hopefully it didn't mess up OBS again though. Let me check. Um, no, it didn't look like it tripped it up at all. Okay. That's right, because it's a normal Goomba. For whatever reason, the plus one defense does not apply to regular Goombas, but it applies to every other enemy. So much HP. Let's find out how much. Yeah, it's present in original Paper Mario as well. Oh, he has 14 HP. Okay. He only has one left. Yeah, I suppose. I thought it was just normal Goombas. Interesting. I want to get more coins. We need those. Okay. I'm not sure if it's worth tattling first. Or if we should just go for the kill right away. It's just, it's so nice seeing the enemy's HP. I guess we could have got the peekaboo badge earlier. There's a 
spin jump deals four with the one defense. That's a lot of enemies. They're only gonna attack my partner, though. Might be a good fl fire flower. The camera doesn't kill. That's all right. One, two, can we get all four? Nice. We're not in a bad position because we're going to level like pretty quickly here. Let's change some stuff around. Quick hammer, power jump. Yeah, I think we still bought all this stuff. There we go. Fire flower. 14 HP though. Can't do too much about that. Unless we uh, use an attack, but I think it's a little bit early to use, start using items. Could use clock out. Uh, hmm. Let's try it. Press A, B, or X appears over the enemy. Oh, when it appears over the enemy. Looks like I did it correctly. Perfect, okay. Two turns, I'll take that. I don't know if jump builds more than the hammer at this point. I think it deals more because, yeah, they don't have defense. And now we should be able to get his fire flower since he didn't use it. Alright, let's use this turn wisely. Get some FP back. Take like seven. Still good. I don't. I don't think I have super appeal on. Do it anyway. I right, got sweet treat back up. Until we get to the first level, like, we can be pretty liberal with stuff, as long as there's- well, pretty liberal with, like, our HP and FP and star power, because we're gonna level soon. Well, the fire flower is just about to come in handy.
Hopefully the glitch doesn't happen again. Nice. Okay. I guess we don't need it after all. Let's try power jump. Six, okay. So that's, yeah, that was full power. Star power? Yeah! Alright, this should go pretty easy. Maybe we should push to 50. Nah, we might be getting overconfident. <laughs> I'm tempted, Cloud, I'm tempted. Looking like an Earth Tremor type situation. Yeah, this will work fine. sounds it makes when it hits them. Oh, we got a little bit of XP. Alright, the next one might level us up. That'll heal our current partner as well as... Yeah, our, our current partner as well as um, all our star power. Don't think he heals all the partners. I just remembered. No defense. Okay, so this guy's gotta give us two. Zero, and it's got spikes. Pretty easy. The camera should finish, and we hopefully get two from him. No, we're still one away. Oh, that would have been perfect. Okay, it's still pretty easy. one star point no matter what <laughs> so we're gonna get a level here
Alright. Like Cloud pointed out, we should go BP here. Makes the most sense. So I think with all of our... Since we have three star power, and with how good um, Blockout is... Sweet Treat, I mean... I think we try to put Super Appeal back on. So then we have Pretty Lucky, which is like, I think a 10% proc, but I, I believe it stacks with a close call. So that could be good. Um, otherwise, Piercing Blow pierces defense, but we do have Quake Hammer for that. For the most part, Quake Hammer should cover. Piercing Blow is going to come in handy once we get a better Hammer upgrade, I guess is kind of what I'm getting at. It'll eventually be pretty useful. Wearing two more with more of these badges requires more FP for the move, but enemies stay soft for longer. I keep forgetting that yeah, badges stack in this game. Hmm. We could, do, we could do either damage dodge P or pretty lucky. I think pretty lucky since we got close call on already. With times 4 damage towards Daisy, might be the best option is just to try to avoid everything. Alright. Onwards. Pretty samey so far. back here. Oh no, the poison mushrooms. Uh-oh. That was a very unlucky batch of flowers there. Got five still. That's pretty sure it's ten percent. I think we just got really lucky. So since we have super appeal, we'll do that. And then we'll kill with multi bonk. There it is. Okay. I was worried when I saw those poison mushrooms, but at least we didn't give it a chance for the wheel to spin by finishing up in that turn. <laughs> I haven't even needed Gale Force yet. Ah, oh, 
Aim is off. Alright, check it out. Grumbel is actually gonna kill an enemy with her normal attack now. Fantastic. Uh, I would have liked to see this or er er later, but... Oh, three more star points. Multibonk's actually better than I thought it would be with those... Those Goombas having such high HP. Sleepy Stomp... Might be good. Oh, that's a life shroom. I don't think there's a way that we can have it, though. Not that I know of, anyway. Oh no, we <laughs> we couldn't hold it. Hmm. Let's tattle here. Ooh, attack is three. That's actually really rough. We're gonna dizzy dial here. Not the one I wanted. Ow. Oh, nice! They can just use it! What a waste! Perfect! Oh, much better. Okay, let's swap. Yeah, we'll just go flurry. That is really hard to super guard. Gale Force time. Yeah! So broken. Actually, I don't think Gale Force is smart here. But we have Quake Hammer, so we're fine. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Your defense is zero. Quite a bit of... <laughs> nice! Quite a bit of star points for that. This is a perfect time to heal up. Too many. That's what I get for spamming. No, our audience! A 
this is where Piercing Blow would be good. Say some FP, but that's that's fine. We'll heal. And those Quake Hammer again. Partner gain hearts with this too? Yeah, they do. Okay. Oh, down five levels for 30 coins. No, I kind of want money right now. I don't think it's worth it. Flare should do well for here. Okay, pretty easy, only two enemies here. We're getting rid of the cloud first. Five back from five back with Daisy here. Oh man. <laughs> Barely got it. it. Don't go after Daisy. I told you not to. Maybe we won't be going to floor 50 after all. I'll settle for 20. 20 sounds... 20 sounds pretty good. Twelve damage, oh my gosh. Insane. Okay. I wonder if I should switch to Shell Shield. This is Gale Forest territory here. I do have the life room, so. Oh, I think that counted. Not bad damage. Four damage? Not bad at all. We might be able to just take it out. Let's do a power jump. That should do five. I don't know why I super guarded that, but we'll take it. Yeah, let's just get rid of the spider.
There we go. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Got that snipe. Ow. Okay. All right. We'll take it. Five. We have Shell Shield. We're going for Goombella. That's all right. Full FP. be using quick change in this run. Being able to switch without taking up a turn is going to be really useful. Especially like if we're picking between using Gale Force and using uh, Cooper's Shell Shield. Speaking of Shell Shield, we're using it. Ah, only good. What? Hmm, I don't know. Well, that's Sweet Treat, actually. It's not Earth Tremor. Too low of HP. back up there. Too early. Oh my gosh! It, it goes back? I never knew that! That's so cool! And quick hammer. Get rid of one. Throw any more segments at us. Okay. Shell Shield is amazing for this run. Can. I cannot kill here. Ah, oh, that attack is so awkward. Get out of here with your rock. Oh, 
Close appeal, it's fine. We have Shell Shield. Uh, Koops can't quite kill yet. Dang, I cannot get the super guard there. It's a tough one. Okay, I see what happened. Koops was still knocked over, and that cost me a turn. I didn't realize that. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, we'll Sweet Treat here, and then we'll take him out with Koops. At least I learned that lesson now. <laughs> and we didn't die from it. Gosh, get me out of there. Alright, we might heal here. Actually, we will heal. I'd really like to hold on to this life shroom. Sixteen, we're almost there. Jump on him. They should stay like that for multiple turns. Do another shell shield. Save this one attack. Oh man, I really needed to nail that. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. Uh, sweet treat. Shell shield again. We'll be fine. Not bad. Not bad at all. See a pokey. Level 18. Oh, 
Ooh, and, and fighters, okay. Time for items. Uh, shell shield and then items. That's, that's more like it. That's how we want a shell shield. Probably Ice Storm. Let's try, let's try Mini first. Oh, that's the multi-hit attacks are gonna destroy Shell Shield. I have that? Thank you. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Okay. Um, like, I have to, I, yeah, I have to sweet treat here. Coop's gonna do Ice Swarm. Hope for the best. Maybe clock out would have been better. Ah, oh, dang it. Rough. Thirteen. Super guard. Okay. It's power shell. One more turn in case of ice. Yeah, I think. I'm kind of leaning towards just Earth Tremoring at this point. Being done with it, we're almost out. We have more items we can rely on for the next level. We just need to get up to five here. Out of star power, but more life. Alright, is it two more floors or is it one more? We're still got a live stream. Okay, it's actually two more. Except we have no FP going in the next fight. Uh, so we're gonna have to rely on items here. We could just, like, Gale Force and Hope. And then just use items to mitigate damage. But we still need FP back, so we need a Sweet Treat at least once. We have no star power. Let's see what happens. Oh, I thought I... okay. Just using items. <clears throat> Let's just kill him. Let's get a triple freeze here. Actually, yeah, spin jump will kill here.
Oh, come on! <laughs> what? Alright, it's fine. Peel. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Stop! I didn't know the ice seal dealt damage over time. Interesting. <sighs> Dang it, I was trying to sweet treat there. So I could get FP for Gale Force. So we might just be able to push through with items here. Oh, never mind, that was the last one. Okay. That's all too expensive. Alright, we got Fire Drive. Where this use Fire Drive, 5 FP required, so it's quite a bit of FP. Salts all ground enemies and burns them all as well. Wearing two or more of these requires more FP, but increases the attack power. Cross Joint, thank you for the eight months. Much appreciated. We just got Fire Drive from the pit, and we are... We are definitely bailing. Yeah, we're bailing. Nope. <laughs> we're out. We saved our life stream. Thank goodness. Okay, we are going directly to the save point. I'm like, I'm saving before I even do anything else. 